Hello, welcome to this very short video on row level security in Power BI. Just follow along with me, and in the next two minutes, you will understand the magic of row level security. Here, I have a report of sales for a, a pizza restaurant across the different regions in Nigeria, right? So, we see we have five different regions Bagada, Ibado, Ikoi, Lekis, Rulere, each with its own regional manager sales manager right we want to do something that will make it such a way that each regional manager will only be able to see the report for their own regions okay so you go to modeling you go to manage roles and then i create role for each of the different regional managers so i start with bagada i say that the branch table I need to go verify the name of the so let me just quickly verify that uh, the name of the field is branch so this is the branch table these are different branch managers all right so let me come back straight here okay and then the branch equals gather. Copy that because I'm going to need it. So I create uh, the next branch Ibadon. Okay, I paste that. I modify the name. I create for the next branch. Koi. Create for yet another branch. I create for still yet another branch, the last one. So I say there are five. Okay, so once I'm done, I do save. And here is the magic. Once you pick a particular branch manager, right? Only what's for that branch manager shows, which is the normal thing you see in Power BI. But this is the magic I actually was referring to. If you do view as role, so say I see, I view as Bagada branch manager role. Guess what happens? It's the same as me selecting the branch manager for Bagada, right? So we're going to do a small modification. We are going to create also for country manager. Country manager should be able to see everything. So I'm not going to limit the country manager to any particular branch field. Okay. Now let's continue with the magic. I'm going to publish. So I'm going to publish. Do I want to save these changes? Yes. Okay, so it's publishing. Uh, let me publish it in a special workspace I have. So I'm going to publish it in maybe logistics. What's it? Okay, I publish it. Okay, I think I'm going to. I'm going to publish it somewhere else. I don't want to replace that data set. So I'm going to publish it somewhere else. I'll publish it in stock analysis for now. Let's see. Stock analysis. By the way, in yours, you can publish it to your my workspace. That video, that is for another video. All right, so I'm done publishing it. I'll click on open. Okay, so it's going to come up. Okay, so now it is hop. Huh? Let's go to the end of the magic, right? This is the what I just published, right? It's showing June 2019 class report. I go straight to the data set for it. I click on the ellipsis in front of the data set. I go to security. Aha! So you see, I can say, Hi, I'm the 
branch manager. No, no, I'm the country operations manager. Okay, so I had myself as country operations manager, or whoever else I want to add as country operations manager. So I had one of my colleagues. So I'm going to save that, and I'm going to add one of my colleague, Hannah, as Bagada branch manager. Save that. I had still yet another of my colleague, Emmanuel. As the ECOE branch manager, and so you get the drift. I keep adding different people, and uh, let's see if I can have one more person. So, Steven as Lekki branch manager. So, now what I'm doing is I'm tying their emails, their ID to each of the branch, meaning whenever they view the report, they'll be limited to seeing. Just what is for their branch so let's test so if I say clicking on the ellipsis in front of any of the branch I say test as rule and you'll notice it's going to show this very way the lucky branch manager is going to see the report so now I'm going to make one report share with all those different branch managers and whenever they view it they only see what is for them right and you can test by email so if you are not sure who is who I can type someone's email Right, and so I want to test as this person. How will this person view the report? And I say apply, and instantly it will view the report for me the way I've configured it for that person. So this person is for Bagada branch, and so that is it. Simple and straightforward, yet very powerful. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.